Um, Andrew says, can you recommend a good MP3 player? No iPod. I was looking at the Sands of View. Is that good? Looking to spend between 80 to 120. Depends on, is that Euros or US or what? 80 can to the Sands is link up really good with Amarok? I'm thinking 80 to 120,000 pounds. Hmm. Got to specify. Not yen. Right? Got to specify. Could well, be yen. It doesn't say where he's from, eh? So, you know what? As far as that goes, I would just say, okay, Sansa. So let's look at Sansa. Sansa makes a really good hardcore device. It's really great quality product. If you ask me, I like their product. I think mm. it's great. It's got a great feature set. The user interface is nice. But it is fairly specific to Windows. Unfortunately, mm. Sansa has mm. kind of locked down Linux a little bit. It works as an external device, like an external uh, hard drive, but sometimes file formats are incompatible. And then you've got to go through the hoops of trying to make you know, a video file that works with the Sansa product. And they're great products, don't get me wrong, but if you're using Linux, you might have some compatibility issues with your file formats. If you're just doing MP3s, drag and drop onto the Sansa view, no problem. That's not going to be a problem at all. But if you want to get into, I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with the particular device, but with their devices, if you want to get into video as well, and they've got some nice little screens on them. When I had my Sansa Fuse, it was really, really great, but I did have to use Windows in order to convert the video. Hmm. So... Blue is mentioning the iRiver works well in Ubuntu. And uh, Gadget Wisdom is right where I want to be, mentioning about Rockbox, uh, the alternative firmware for SanDisk devices. And thanks for bringing that up, because SanDisk does have some devices that are compatible with Rockbox. The Fuse was not. And so that's why I kind of am just kind of looking at that. But what I would say is get onto the Rockbox website. What that is is a replacement firmware for your devices. So what you can do is you can find any one device and not be limited by the feature set that the person, the, you know, the company that manufactured it. You're not limited by that feature set because you're actually going to replace the software with Linux. Mm. And then all of a sudden, it just opens you wide out open for all the different things that you can, you can do. So, uh, so let's get onto the Rockbox website and take a look. This is also going to help you to do your shopping. Nice. Because what you do is find a... And, uh, you know, I, I'm saying this because I think this is a great way to go, is to update your firmware to something that's open. Um, find some uh, something that's compatible with Rockbox. That's a great way to shop mm -hmm. because then you're going to have that flexibility of replacing whatever the firmware is uh, with with this firmware. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is, uh, you know, just get through here and find out which devices are actually compatible with it. It looks like the SanDisk E200 is now compatible. Oh, and they've actually added the Sansa Fuse. So, mm -hmm. you know, this has changed since I was last here as well. Mm -hmm. But if you go through rockbox.org, you're going to learn a whole bunch about this. Uh, basically, it's like an operating system for your, for your different MP3 players. So you go through the list, and you can check, you know, which MP3 players are available, uh, does it work with. So you can actually go with an iPod, if you like the hardware, and then replace the software so you're not limited by Apple's software. So that's, you know, that's something to consider as well, because who knows, you might be able to find a cheap iPod on, on you know, second hand or something mm -hmm. like that. But that's, I think, probably a good way to go. You know, the Sansa uh, E200, it's compatible now, so you're able to, you know, boot that device up with Rockbox. Beautiful. So that's going to really open things up for you. Nice. Yeah. Give that a go. Look at their website, rockbox.org, and see if that helps you out. Now, is that, uh, that's Rock with a K. <coughs> yeah. Rockbox. R-O-C-K-B-O-X dot O-R-G. And that's just the software that you can use to replace the firmware in that device. So the reason I say it is just find, if you find a device that's compatible with it, it's a great way to go. Sure is. The same, same way to buy a router. Find one that's compatible with the firmware that you want. I use DDWRT. You're not going to use the, the firmware that comes with the device anyways because that restricts you. Mm -hmm. So you want to open it up, reinstall the operating system on the device.